for Peter Crossbow or Ice Crossbow chat? I love survival builds. I'm trying not to make it be survival builds every single time, but it is definitely what I'm most comfortable with. Those claw dudes are devastating when you time them out wrong. Taffy, this agreement says manager will provide the talent with the best advice regarding the talent's e-reputation. This is such a jerk off document. Dude, I want to throw a drink in the face of whoever wrote that. What a stupid fucking do I, would, I I would be insulted if I was the talent signing that. Fucking e-reputation. Fuck off. Patronize me a little bit more, you fucking idiot. E rep of fucking fuck you. <laughs> that makes me angry on behalf of your talent. If you're if you're representing the talent, I would eye roll so hard. I'd be like, hey, listen, you're getting into bed with an agency that refers to your reputation as your e reputation and feels the need to distinguish between the fact that you are either a male model or a girly model. But why male models? You serious? I just, I just told you that a moment ago. Right. You know what? I'm going to give the Glaive a shot. I am still dedicated to not just phoning it in with the same kinds of builds every single time just because they're, they're the ones that are working for me. Just like taking new builds out for a spin is how we discover whether or not we got the juice. Mr. Al says, shut the fuck up. God damn, dude. Enhance your fucking calm, John Spartan. I do like the Tesla coil slightly better than I like the swarm grenade. That's what I saw. I can't tell you what I saw, chat. I saw a thing where their name looked like something different than what it actually is. I glanced at it and I was like, that's a fitting name. It feels very derogatory. And then I looked and I was like, oh no, no, that's not what I thought it was. Imagine basically if I was like, oh, it's like douchebag management. It's like shithead management, but it's not actually shithead management. It's actually, uh, it's, it's actually like a classy sounding, a classy sounding name. It could be confused with like a, a fucking Starbucks energy drink. But at first glance, I was like, oh, that's like, Dipshit management? Got it. The asshole management crew? Noted. Fucking Miso misogyny talent? I hear they're very good. I'm trying to be better about not putting Noah in situations where he has to either apologize for me or defend me in court. Because Noah has made a conscious effort, like we were talking about earlier. Noah, I did mention, I did mention Baldur's Gate 3 and people are on board. I don't know that we start it tomorrow because I think that's just a little too jarring. Like, it's a little too jarring for me. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we've spent all morning talking about how I'm a creature of habit. And so I need a little runway. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. But I think working in a day or two of Baldur's Gate, if, if people are down to watch, uh, I think working in a day or two of Baldur's Gate uh, during the week to break up the monotony of Dead Cells Persona, Dead Cells Persona. I fucking love this. The To make it completely clear, I adore this programming block. I like both these games so much. But I could see definitely how some people would be like, so this is it for the next month, huh? I ain't mad, but damn, this is going to be a lot of Dead Cells and Persona. And a lot of people have got E-hard-ons, if I'm going to steal some legal parlance. A lot of people have got some E-hard-ons for uh, Baldur's Gate right now and have been asking me about it. So I don't want to go full full Baldur's Gate 
but it does seem to me like a lot of people are interested in watching it go down. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always interested in playing a game that other people are playing. I just write it off because I assume that I'm not going to get to until months, if not years later. Yo, Thalen, tier one, 43 months. Good morning, Taffy. Good morning, Thalen. Thank you so much for the very long resub. Genuinely and sincerely appreciate your support. Every, yeah, I've, I've heard nary a discouraging word about Baldur's Gate, and a lot of people, not in a shitty way either, like, Taffy, when are you going to play Baldur's Gate? But a lot of people have been coming through here going like, hey, man, if you're not giving Baldur's Gate a, a, a looky-loo, you should consider it. There have been a lot of people who have just been like, not telling you how to run your channel, Taffy, but think about it. And that's, you know, whenever that happens, the, la the last, oh Jesus, I forgot I had a curse. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't get hit because I was just fiddle fucking around, baby. Um, But, oh, Jesus Christ in a cab. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. Listen here, you pricks. I didn't see what the item was. The fucking golden shovel, you say. Secrets found in the wall or ground are of increased quality. Shit. Victims slow down. Uh, victims slow down when a, somebody dies nearby. Can't be interrupted. Shoots an arrow in front of you. Shoots an arrow up, and victims freeze. Shit, this is still not good. But I'm doing most of my damage with the laser glaive, and right now the fucking double damage is getting me murdered. I didn't even look at that amulet. I'm a big dumb idiot. But yeah, uh, um, a lot of people have spoken glowingly and respectfully about like, hey, you know what, if for some reason you need a break, we sure would love... Oh my god, I rolled into it because of, because of this fucking quartz... Whew. You ever just get so mad that you have a string of just angry descriptors come into your head? And your 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 fucking internal um your internal sensor shuts them all down because they're coming so fast that he can't possibly screen them to see if any of them are so dated it would get you canceled? That may or may not have just happened to me. I had a whole bunch of words float through my head. And the inside of my head went, how many of these came from 80s comedies? And I was like, oh, a couple. And it was like, gonna shut down the whole list, bud. I get that you're upset, and I know you want to vent your frustration. But that's a big no-go, buddy. We're learning, aren't we? And I'm like, I, I, I have learned. I'm learning. Absolutely. I am picking up what you're putting down. We'll stop that. We'll stop all of them. Get my new computer tomorrow, hoping to find some time to play Palea this weekend. Lisa has convinced me on it. I don't even know what that game's about. Taffy, think about your e-reputation. As a prominent mid-level guy streamer. Um, I mean, I, I like to think of myself as a really good streamer, and I have a lot of really good streamer-s friends that are all rep rep represented by asshole talent agency. They're really good at what they do. Their their legal is boilerplate or is uh ironclad watertight. We're all very concerned about our e-reputations. All I have is a stream of screaming squares in my head and see you next Tuesday usually dominates. 
MMO star. Oh, massive multiplayer online star, dude. No kidding. That's the kind of thing that I think I would want to watch somebody play. I don't, I don't think I personally would want to play that, but I think I could watch somebody play the shit out of that. <clears throat> Dude, my voice feels hoarse. I feel like I've been going real hard on just, like, being in this chair this week. I feel like there's been a lot of peaks. A lot of peaks, not enough valleys. Pretty sure you'd enjoy the shit out of it? Possibly. I certainly believe you. You 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 all have been more right than you've been wrong, to be sure. I'm gonna look for all sorts of hid hidden stuff now because if it if it starts giving me turkey legs instead of uh, kebabs during combat, like I want I want to like this. I want to like this. I want to like every legendary. The truth is, not every legendary can be good. God, I fucking love the ice grenade, but we'll we'll roll without it. Uh, look at this. I wish I'd found that before I'd healed. Well, damn, yeah, now I really have to start paying attention for hidden stuff. Good grief. I wish that the shovel was my... Well, I mean, the shovel is kind of my secondary. I am mostly relying on the glaive right now. I did not get 30. I got roughed up on that floor. Lots of burning. Yeah, we're going to try to find a melee weapon to stick in our backpack. I do like me some porky pack. The old classic wall chicken. I can't count the number of TikToks I've seen, Thalen, where some dude's doing renovation in his house, knocks down a wall, and just goes, what the fuck, and pulls out a whole rotisserie chicken. Tail as old as time. Haven't seen the shovel attack. It's literally just swinging a shovel. Nothing special to it. No criticals to be had. But I can shovel projectiles back at the enemy from whence they are sent. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, welcome to the fire show, bud. Not a whole lot to it. Bump, bump, bump. I mean, it makes a very gratifying thump noise. Ah. Oh, no. I'm not 100% certain. what kind of projectiles I can send back. I like barnacles so much. Knocks back, knocks back enemies and bombs, but I can't punch back projectiles. That's good to know. Because I, I damn near just tried to punch back a projectile and I'd have been so confused. I can shovel back bombs, and I can knock back enemies, which is pretty good. Ooh, scary. I gotta say, getting a whole bunch of extra money... Oh, the timing on that was janky. Getting a whole bunch of extra money and uh, higher quality healing items out of the ground and walls is pretty alluring. 
Yo, Talwin. Thrilled as always to have you here. I really don't like the tentacle. I don't like anything that... I don't like any weapon that dictates my movement. I just want to watch the light go out of his eyes. Love it. Slow and steady wins the race, man. Good shit, Glaive. You're doing awesome. Scary as fuck, but you're doing great. <laughs> so scary. See, that shovel attack didn't knock that ninja back for shit. Shit, he almost had me. But it is nice if you can line it up, isn't it? The glaive shots. burn I don't care he's safe there chat I man found refuge sanctuary I've heard that the Castlevania animes are very good I've not caught any of them but I've heard that the Netflix Castlevania series is very nice How do I get up there? Very, very good shit. I may have to give those a look at some point. This is up and around, isn't it? There's no way I can get to that from here. Oh, there's... You know me, chat. I'm not the kind to leave money just sitting on the ground. There we go. Damn, why am I so hungry today? I should not be this hungry. I have not worked out. timed it wrong for the like for the first time I truly timed it wrong and it absolutely cost us our our 60 there's no getting that back That is a slight problem with this build, is that if I go up against somebody else who's also got good range, I get roughed up. Would you pick a level? I could use another one of those floor chickens now.
if the game's feeling particularly froggy. Um, is it barricade? I feel like it's barricade. And we just get rid of holy water. Dude, we are hyper weak. And I think we just carry around, um, like, if anything's gonna get close to us, because we're we're particularly weak up close or super far away, at mid-range we're devastating, and like up close against something that can't fight back, obviously we're devastating. I don't know, this just incentivizes us to either close the gap or get far, far away. Oh, that's right. I need a I need a melee weapon to stick in the old backpack. I don't have the money for it right now, though, so that'll have to wait. Probably survival for all the health. I was just complaining that I didn't have enough health. Oh, fuck me, man. Ryan. I got killed by somebody who was off screen. Ugh. I got killed by a skeleton that was off screen. I'm trying to safeguard my last remaining flask charges. I got bone zoned. Oh boy. Um, giant killer. We had almost the exact same build to start off yesterday. I like the glaive. I'm running with the glaive again. I am running with the glaive devil. I have no idea what kind of build this is going to be, but... This rat prick. Okay, Taffy. Don't freak out and sabotage the entire thing. You had one nasty fight with the Gal Dern Crystal Sentry. There's no reason to submarine. No reason to submarine the whole thing. Everything's fine. Nothing is fucked here, dude. Look who rolled the right direction this time. Nope. He decided he was not about it that time. All right. Interesting choice. Yeah, getting off screen is like that's tough. I can I can usually account for threats I can see, but I forget about the ones that are out of sight. That was fucking great. I loved that. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding, I'm finding value in the glaive for sure. Finding value in the glaive for sure. Chat, what am I doing for lunch today? I, 
can't ignore it any longer. I have to start to... Well, I'm happy we get to go back to the castle outskirts. I mean, we could go wherever we wanted to go, but I'm just going wherever I'm getting the, the most bang for my buck. I don't think I want that. Well, you know what? No. I was going to say, I'll take that for the money, but it's going to be like 300 gold, and I don't, that's not enough. Fancy mac and cheese. I do have buffalo mac and cheese that needs to be eaten, but it's like... It feels like it's an awful lot of carbohydrates. I basically made that for the boys, and they're kind of eating it. But I, I feel like I've made too much of it. I need to just kind of... I think I might just need to be okay with the fact that some of that's going in the garbage. Oh, God. Spicy noodles? Again? Sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> I worry that the only thing that Peter Chang's has is the Dan Dan noodles, though, and they're great. I almost feel like I'd either have to find another Chinese place to see if they've got something rolling around. Or, yeah, potentially pivot and look for, like, Thai. You have the stuff for a Caesar salad? Not like the chicken. I have the stuff for, like, quite literally just Caesar dressing and some romaine hearts. But I don't have any protein to put into it. I'm not, like, a huge stickler for every meal has to have protein. But almost certainly, uh, almost certainly every meal has to... If it's not gonna have protein, it needs to be made in such a way that I don't even notice it doesn't have protein because it just tastes so fucking good. Am I doing this? Ray T. Thai, to be honest. I'm always craving spicy noodles. I'm right there with you. I mean, for crying out loud, on the other side of my... On the other side of my, uh, desk... Oh, get out of here. There's a recharge. There's a recharge time to the thing. All right, that's as fast as I can get one out. Okay. Good to know because I... This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. I tried spamming it and it absolutely did not happen. Haha. -ha. I had uh, these like wavy, spicy Sichuan noodles. Shit, I have to find them now and show them to you. Amazon. Every time I get these noodles, I just like hoard them and I eat them when the cravings are too strong, but when they're gone, I'm crestfallen. Um, oh, and it's also reaching food, food talk o'clock in chat. So this, these, they're so nummy. Uh, and it's the first time that I ever had an experience with like nummy noodles. And so what you'll do is you'll boil these noodles, is scallion and Sichuan pepper. You'll boil the noodles until they're al dente, and then you'll get a bowl. And and you quite literally just take the, like, it, there's broth in this. I don't know why. There's no broth. You drain it. It ends up looking like that. You put oil in the bowl, like two or three oil packets in the bowl. You cook the noodles, you drain the noodles, and then you drop the noodles in and mix it with the oil. And it comes out, let's see if somebody took a photo. Yeah, it comes out just looking like that. And it's just like between the wavy noodle, you don't have to drain it. Yeah, but I prefer it drained. I'm, I'm a not broth kind of guy. I'm the kind of dude who used to drain his like Mar Maruchan ramen and top ramen in college. All of my ramen in college looked like this. I would get rid of the broth entirely. It's only been recently, it's only been recently that I've realized that like some instant noodle ramen dishes are, have broth worth drinking but in the for the longest time for the longest time um all right well these are people who had fucked up orders wow look at this overachiever you can get bulldog and it's like just hot but that's the only one that's like hot and a little bit nummy and i fucking adore it i like it so much i have no idea what kind of build this is going to be i'm going to try to force it to be survival <clears throat> Yeah, we're we're a big instant noodle family here. I, when I say instant noodle family, I'm talking about chat. My family also eats instant noodles, but not the way me and chat eat instant noodles. Once I discovered that other countries were shipping out really genuinely good instant noodles, I oh, I uh, I I have two 
like three foot tall tri like racks that are meant to hold like fruit and stuff for families. I have two of them on the other side of my desk and they're almost completely filled with instant noodles from different countries, from like Japan and Korea and China. Once I realized other countries were sending out like really good instant noodle offerings, I, 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 I had chat buy me so many as presents um, that I had to find somewhere to store them because my wife was getting pissed at how much floor space they were taking up in the kitchen. Hope that was an affiliate link. No, nah, unfortunately for me, I I got shit on by Amazon. Not Amazon. They treat people so well. No, nah, for real. Um, I got shit on by Amazon. I did an affiliate link uh, a million years ago, uh, but I wasn't really good about sticking to their to their rules. Their rules basically say like you have to embed, you know embed items in your food blog talk about oh i got the recipe from amazon if you want it you can pick it up here i was not very good about that i uh, 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 fucking stop um we're gonna wait for a second oh no we're going fuck it we'll do it live That was a perfect place for the glaive, and I didn't throw it once. Why am I the dumbest man who's ever lived? Make me understand your reasoning, Taffy, because I don't get it. Um, I couldn't in a million years use ice shards, right? Fuck it. If they come at us, we'll slow them down. That's so sad. What a sad little attack that is. <laughs> what? What an impotent, sad little attack that is. But whatever, we we'll roll with it. Um. So yeah, it, like what they want you to do is they want you to say like, "Oh, chat, I had this awesome Halloween DIY decoration project, and you can get everything you need from my affiliate links. Here's all the products." But what I would do is I would just be like, "Here's my affiliate link. Just use it to buy everything you buy from Amazon." And after a little while, they hit me up with like a, hey, you're not like advertising products. You're just throwing your link out for people to use. And I was like, uh-huh. And they were like, well, we're not going to let you have it anymore. And I was like, ow. And at the time that it was rejected, it had gone from a place where like the first time I really pushed it was like, hey, I've got this Amazon link. I got like a $1,200 payment for like February 2019 because one of my buddies used the Amazon affiliate link with his company to basically build a data center. <clears throat> but by the time they rejected it, I was getting like eight bucks. Like, like uh, in 2020, I think I was getting like $4, $7, $8 payouts. And they're like, we're gonna take your affiliate link away. You're not using it right. And I was like, oh no, I'll have to find some other way to afford half of my McDonald's breakfast. Yo, Japche, we have been dancing around Bonshan for a minute, haven't we? We have been dancing around having Bonshan sent to the house for a minute. I really wish I could get food from that place inside the Asian supermarket. That Korean joint that Lucid and Evie and I went to was dynamite. That shit was really good. Yeah, like, as far as I can tell, Alpha, it was just, like, um... Little, like, obviously, he didn't use it to buy, like, all the computers, but, like, if he needed rigging or wiring or, uh, bracketing or, you know, stuff to go in the server racks or whatever, he would, he would, he was going to get it through Amazon anyway, so he used my link and built, like, a million-dollar data center. And that was, like, yeah, that was, like, a, a rent check that hit my, that hit my account. And it was never that good again. God damn it. Hmm, Japche. Oh, that's right. I've got Armadillo Pack back for the first time in a million years. Run away!
We just do a little dance around him. Fucking interesting that. You can freeze enemies. Oh! Right, sorry, I almost got bone zoned. I've often wondered what the point of that is. Oh, Jesus Christ, that guy's angry. I've often wondered what the point of ice shards is. E reputation firm takes 40%. Well, you know, Noah, the moment you start cranking out clear, professional, ironclad legal contracts the way E reputation does. Like, as of right now, I have no idea. Do you represent girl streamers, boy streamers? Or streamer streamresses, as I like to call them? There's too much ambiguity in your in your gender neutral uh, bullshit legalese, you know. You got to start specifying so I know what the fuck is going on. For all I know, every time you send out a contract, contract, my e reputation takes a hit. I I need everyone to know that the term streams stream stream tris. Stream Tris is meant to be like Yosuke levels of cringy. Just before somebody clips that and goes, Did you guys know that McLaffy Taffy assigns gender to the term streamer so that he knows whether or not it's a boy or a girl? I most certainly do not. That's the point. <laughs> it's supposed to be cringy. Just in case, I'm just I'm never certain whether or not, like, is this the joke that uh is this the joke that brings brings the pitchforks for me? Also, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. He doesn't care. What if? Hold on. Goddamn bone zone. Eat shit. All right, we're good. Oh, we're not good. Okay, we're good. Freeze, you brick. With you in a second. Thank you. <laughs> lady, lady streamer. <laughs> what a terrible talent agency. Oh, shit. Nova, what's going on, man? Welcome back. Shut up! Hi, friend. Yeah, the gendering titles thing was a thing that, like, even 20 years ago, I was like, man, what the fuck? Actress. I started rolling off that before it was cool to be woke. <laughs> now it just seems cringy as fuck to me. Gloomy day, no work, comfy bed. Yes, sir, today is the life. Ah, Mellow Muffin. Would that I could, would that I could. Would that I could. That sounds delightful. That sounds really nice, honestly. Uh oh You're doing great, buddy. Whoa. Uh -oh. uh -oh. 
everything's going fine. These are victory noises. These are noises a confident person makes when they know that a win is imminent. What happened the other run? Uh, I got bone zone. I got killed by an off-screen skeleton. Killed by an off-screen skelly. I was not pleased. There were a there were a handful of bad decisions made in the interim. But the biggest offender was a skeleton who had zero chill. Oh, we managed... We managed to, uh... Kill off enough time that a lot of these Asian restaurants should be open by now. Next time we hit a stopping point, I'll, I should, what I should do is if I, if I'm feeling like Asian food, I should probably, oh, God damn. I should probably just have Amber make up some instant noodles and save the cash, but it doesn't hurt to look. You can, we can window shop, you know? But I'll be damned if Bumbarian didn't march out the magic words. Spicy noodles. And instantly wet my appetite. Is it weird that this is so underpowered that I'm too scared to do anything other than go incredibly slow? I did want to take an item that I didn't feel like we'd ever use before, so here we are. You okay, bird person? That is what we in bird culture like to refer to as a dick move. That didn't work. Sent a funny regarding e reputation. The talent acknowledges that the manager also charges a separate agency fee of 20% to clients in accordance with standard industry practice. The agency fee uh, and or service charges billed in addition to the talent's rate and entirely paid by the clients who utilize the talent services. And Noah's note off to the side is, in which industry is this the standard? So wait, they take 40% plus a 20% agency fee? Is that, are they taking 60 total or is that 20 and 20? That Twitter clip was hilarious. I, listen, I'm coming to grips like, 
I'm slowly coming to grips with the fact that people intentionally support me. It's taken a decade, but we're getting there. I'm starting to understand what the hell is going on here every single day. Twenty percent to the uh, to talent, and they charge a twenty percent additional to the brand, resulting in an artificial inflation of talent's rates and a forty percent uh, take on the gig. Nah, Nani's great. Nani's the one who helped. Uh, like, I don't want to. Like, Noah got us the the. Not not to steal any of Noah's thunder. Noah got us the panda gig. But Nani was the one who had the gig and helped Noah weasel us into it every every single person involved with that panda express activation was from the nani agency and then noah caught wind of it and said basically said ryan will beg borrow barter and steal to be in this uh panda express activation and uh i forget his name is it david i i think I can see his face, but I can't remember his name. The dude who, who founded Nani worked with us to get like all of his clients and then one more person, and that one more one more person was me. I did it! His name is David! I remembered a name! Good job, I did it. His name is David. Was it when you added something to the cart? I mean, I added and removed a bunch of things from the cart and it only went off one time. It sounded like something fell and hit like the, the legs on the tripods that are holding up the lights are metal and it sounded like something metal fell and hit one of the like tripod legs but I shouldn't have anything hanging in this office so precariously that it would just fucking fall down in the middle of a stream <laughs> oh my god sorry It pains me to say it, chat, but I think time I think it's time to to bid ice shards adieu. If you're seriously thinking about playing Baldur's Gate 3, make sure you download it before the session. It's over 100 gigs. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll 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 get it installed before anything actually happens. It was a go 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 ghost. Man, when I was a kid, I used to absolutely believe in paranormal activity. This same prick! It's the same guy! This is the same motherfucker who ended our last run in the exact same room, in the exact same spot, and he hit me again. Sorry. Good grief. But yeah, I'll probably pick up Baldur's Gate and get it installing this weekend. For sure. I used to believe in ghosts when I was a kid, and that was fun. In like a terrifying but cool way. And now I don't believe in ghosts anymore, and I find my world is filled with less whimsy. It's like admitting that you don't believe magic exists. You know? I wish I did. And I still could be wrong, but I'm not seeing anything to make me think that I am, you know? And that that's a bummer. I want there to be wonder in the world. Oh, shit. Why don't you fuck off there, bird person? I need some of y'all to come gather around. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Got him, finally. The boy's axe. Does that take the place of laser glaive? I kind of feel like it has to. 
Yeah, we did have some weird shit happen when we worked together. I'm sure I've told you guys... Oh, okay. I'm sure I've told you those, you guys those stories before, but like, Packet Greaser and I used to work in an elementary school, and before it was an elementary school, it was a middle school, and before it was a middle school, it was a high school. Like, my grandfather went there as a, as, as a high school, my father went there as a, no. My grandfather went there as a, yeah, as a high school, my father went there as a middle school, and when I was there, it was an elementary school. It doesn't even exist anymore. I don't think. They, they they plowed that thing under, did they not? And Lauren and I used to work in a place in the basement where all the computers and servers were kept. And we called it the hole because it used to be like the boiler room decades ago. And they repurposed it to be the place where sensitive electronics were kept. A musty, dank dungeon dungeon that we would be stuck in all hours of the day. Yeah, it's a dirt lot now. And we used to be there after hours, you know, during the you know, during the summer especially, but like sometimes during the school year, whatever. There, there were just days where we had to work long hours. There were just days where we had to work long hours and just be there until the job was done. And sometimes that meant um, being there at 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. So when we were the last ones in the building, um, they would just set the security, turn on the motion sensors, and leave us down there. And they would say, like, don't... Oh, Jesus... They would say, don't come out of the building until you're ready to go home. Full stop. Like, just don't leave until you're ready to go home. Because you'll set off the sensors, and if you set off the sensors, then the, the police will have to come and investigate it as a break-in. So you guys are here. We don't mind you being here. Get the work done. But don't leave the basement. Don't leave the basement. Oh, that's good. Nailed it. Don't leave the basement until you're ready to go home. When you're ready to go home, we'll kill the security and send you on your way. So there were a lot of late nights where we'd be in this, like, 50-year-old school, this 60-year-old school, and, uh, motion sensors would be on, and we'd essentially be locked in the basement doing our work. We'd hear footsteps. We'd hear doors open. All above us. And there was one night where what we heard was... Um, it honest to God was a little, it was 1919. Building was built in 1919. And this was in the 90s. So it was 70, 80 years old at that point. There was one point, it really did feel like Five Nights at Freddy's because we had, we had a lot of the security feeds and stuff down there. So like we didn't have cameras, but we had motion sensors and we, we were in the electrical nerve center of the school. And so we could kind of see what was going on, but we didn't have like closed circuit television cameras or anything like that. And we'd be down there in this dank windowless basement of this 80, 90 year old building and hear what sounded like doors opening, what sounded like footsteps in the hallway. But the thing was, is like we knew the security system was on and there were motion sensors throughout the main floor. And so if it was just some teacher who came to like pick up some, some lesson plan or something, there would be a whole process to getting them in the building. And the one night that it got really fucked, where we kind of froze in place, and, like, we were both big dudes, you know? Like, even, even if it was, like, people breaking in, we were the kind of, like, headstrong idiots who would be like, not on my watch, and would run up there with, like, mops and brooms and stuff, being like, I got you, motherfuckers. Not, not on my turf. But we're down there with the security systems armed and the motion sensors armed and in one of the longest stretches of hallway that goes through the entire school it's just a straight fucking shot one night we heard what sounded like one person just run with heavy feet from one side of the building to another and then at the end of the hallway just slam into the locker at the end and that was just it was unmistakable it was the unmistakable sound of somebody with with just heavy steps 
running from one side of the hallway all the way down to the other, which is the length of the building. And then a locker slam at the very end of the hallway. And not a single motion sensor went off. We had, we had a couple of like really truly fucking freaky nights and like honestly, we heard that, saw that none of the sensors had gone off and we were like, not a snowball's chance in hell. Like we went and deadbolted the door to the cave. <laughs> we went to the hole. We went and deadbolted the, 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 the door to the hole and we're just like, nope, fuck all that. Absolutely not leaving this room. We, we, we were like, so, uh, you want to play Unreal Tournament? Yeah, let's play it. Let's, let's install and play Unreal Tournament because I'm sure as shit not leaving this room for a little while. We'll stay right here. Snowball, what's going on? How do you not believe in ghosts now? Because I, if I'm being real with you, I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like I've reached a point in my life where um, very real scary things like cancer and financial security and, uh, you know, the, the unraveling of democracy or climate change, like all these other very real things got into my head and took up real estate and I just don't have room I feel like I just don't have room for the paranormal anymore. That's like probably a really shitty reason. But like it, it used it used to be that like when I was a kid, I'd see like a big dark room or hallway or something that I had to go into. And I'd be like, oh no, what if there's d -d 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 demons in there? And now, like, if I'm home alone, or if I'm home with the, the family, and, I, you know, there's a bump downstairs, like, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about someone breaking into the house, but otherwise, like, you know, if I hear something downstairs, I'm just like, oh, well, I'm gonna go take my bat and walk around. Uh, but I go down there and, like, you know, I'll walk into a dark room and, and not feel a thing anymore. Tavi, real life horrors change your frame of reference for the world. That's what I'm saying is like, I went through some real shit as an adult and have what feels like real concerns. And suddenly like poltergeists are real fucking low on the list. You don't have to be afraid of ghosts to believe. Yeah, but that was the kind that I was interested in. Does that make sense? Like that was, those were the kinds of stories I cared about when I was a kid. Those were the ones that interested me. And now that I'm like not scared of ghosts, existing anymore it's just wiped it's wiped my need to even investigate them completely off of my whiteboard i don't believe in ghosts for two reasons man of science evidence and i haven't seen enough who am i kidding my adhd brain forgets where i leave the pencil i was using and starts to uh, paranoidly blame my significant other uh so i can clearly overlook reasonable explanations for stuff that surprises me so ghost isn't exactly a, a reliable conclusion i also do just kind of feel like every other thing that was like you know i started off in the church and i'm not religious anymore and so there were just all these things as a kid that i had interest in you know the cowboys winning a bunch of super bowls after the 90s was a thing i believed in and just now that I've gotten older, I've, I've aged out of all these beliefs. And it, it really is, for the most part, like what I generally assume that what I see is what I get. And I, like, all, all on top of that, on top of that, all the, like, paranormal shows that I would watch on, like, Discovery and, and, and stuff like that when I was a kid... You know, the the moment that they got debunked or a bunch of PAs would come out and be like, yeah, no, we moved that chair. Or like, oh, no, nothing was happening, so we shook that cabinet. Uh, yeah, they're, no, they're a bunch of frauds. It, like, the like everybody I've ever seen who has, like, tried... Everybody I've ever seen who's, like, tried, you know, it, whether it's, like, through a TV production or whatever. Um, anyone who's tried to, like, present that they're like i have tangible proof of ghosts uh it, it either it, it it feels like modern day mysticism you know 
oh, the table shook. And it's like, well, what's more likely that somebody shook the table from underneath it or that uh, my grandfather's come back and wants to tell me that he loves me? <clears throat> so, that, I mean, that's it. Like, uh, fucking, my, my, my mood towards it is, uh, One sec. My internet is acting froggy. There it goes. Nope, stop that. Y'all watch Corridor Crew? Yo, Warrior, what's going on, man? Welcome back. That's a Corridor Crew link to the BFS, BFX artist's Reacting to a whole bunch of, like, viral ghost footage. And their attitude of being like, ah, a lot of this is just entirely too convenient. I'm like, yeah, kinda. That's kinda how I feel, too. I I am a sad bastard representative of the Cowboys fandom. I, I, I don't do hope so much anymore, but I do do delicious food, which should be here in about 20 minutes. Yeah, Jason, man, it's just, like, so many things that I've seen, like, unfortunately, when I watched, there, there were a handful of, like, paranormal activity shows that I would watch, where they'd just be like, listen, I don't know how to tell you this, but, like, you got bad plumbing, and that's what, that's what is making all the knocking noises that you're hearing, and you'd hear some, some nice lady who just wants desperately to believe that, like, her grandkid who died of fucking typhus or whatever is floating around inside the walls trying to reach her. And I feel bad because, yeah, like, the, 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 the shows that I felt like had any sort of, like, reputation to stand on would just be like, no, I'm, I'm sorry, you've got shitty plumbing and that's what's making the knocking noise. And I was like, I feel like most of our explanations are going to be that. Detune debunks some of those shows, too. I don't know. Ooh. What is that like a is that like a show or a What is Detune? Hold on. Oh, nope, I'm going to bring him up here. No, I'm not going to bring him up here. You said Detune, but I'm hearing D-Light and it's Groove is in the heart. And I know that's not right, but now I want to sing Groove is in the heart. Groove is in the heart. Ah, groove is in the heart. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's invisible. Groove is in the heart. D-Tune's a good friend, content creator. Well, shit. Now I gotta meet him. Her. Him. Her. I have no idea. I'm not gonna assume gender. Them. Look at how safe that word is. It's like a blanket. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're coming. That's the wrong one. You ever throw out the completely wrong item? Big fan of them. Um, it's gonna be a life-saving, life-saving uh, addendum to any 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 route I take from here on out. I'm fucking hungry. Sorry, I'm just waiting, waiting for this to cycle through. Oh no, come on. Ow. I hate it. I was just trying to do that. I wasn't even trying to engage. Came out and took my whooping. Do they just, does he just debunk the videos or is he one of the people like going to locations and like, again, I don't know, like I love, I, I, I loved like, uh, uh, Phasmophobia back when 
they hadn't done stupid shit. That hit me, huh? Interesting. I didn't know he could throw that low. Um, I thought I could just stand next to him. I've tried that before, and I don't think it worked before either. Debunks and also does some of their own stuff with streamer friends like Sam Ashley Roboto. Well, fuck, I want to be involved in this. That sounds great. That's right up my alley as somebody who used to really be about that kind of stuff. Fuck. Get roughed up. That sounds right up my alley as somebody who both used to be about that kind of stuff and also kind of like doesn't buy into it anymore. The War Spear is pretty good, but it's going to be fucking useless on a boss. your ass back here. You'd be great. He loves having the skeptical along. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm open-minded. I want to be wrong. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I want to be wrong so bad. I just don't think I am. But I'll, I'll go into any situation with an open mind. I would love to be wrong. God, being scared, like genuinely scared. Not like, holy shit, I'm being kidnapped by a pedophile scared, but like ghost story scared as a kid was like one of my favorite things. Like genuinely one of my favorite things. I used to read so many ghost stories, like true, fictional, like it didn't matter as long as the story was told. But man, I thought you were locked up. One of my favorite, like, one of my favorite incidences was when me and my buddy, as skeptics, took a Ouija board into a cemetery outside of Boise, Idaho. That shit was a crazy night, and I, like, I love that. And I'm sure most of it could be explained away, but it didn't change the fact that I had a good-ass time and was scared out of my mind the entire time. Goosebumps? I know, so I used to truly try to read, like, I used to find anthologies of ghost stories that were meant to be true ghost stories when I was a kid. Uh, if I was reading fiction, it wasn't Goosebumps, it was like, was it a s stories to tell when you're scared in the dark or whatever? Like, the, the slightly more bracing stuff would be kind of where I'd go. There was one anthology that I can't find anymore. Like, I just, I can't remember the name of it. I was in a teacher's class named Gala Otto, and she, uh -oh. She was a very no bullshit lady, and she kept, like, kind of age-inappropriate uh, horror fiction in her eighth grade class. And I picked up one of those books and it was filled with all sorts of stuff that I was like, man, I am too young for this. But I read the whole thing from cover to cover. It was I like it was it was some really gruesome, like Stephen King I can't move. Some really gruesome Stephen King esque kind of graphic violence in some of it. That I was like, man, as an eighth grader, I feel like I am too young for this, but it is fucking awesome. And I like a lot of it was supernatural, and then some of it was just like serial killer stuff but you know me in books and I read that cover to cover in like a weekend that was another thing um shit what was the name of it there was a, a a fictional podcast I mean the podcast is real but the stories were fictional uh that we listened to around Halloween last year when we were going down to the Outer Banks to spend time with Amber's family 
shit, I forget what it was called. I'll have to look it up. But on the drive down to North Carolina, we must have listened to six or seven, like, half-hour-long episodes of that. And we actually, once it got dark outside the car, had to turn it off because it was, like, a little bit much for Bug. But that was good, too. It was, like, a one-word name. Like, the way that Lore is named as a podcast, but it wasn't Lore. That's gonna bother me until I figure out what it was. God, we listened to a bunch of those. That hit me, huh? Imagine my surprise. I'm looking for, like, health. That's gonna bother me. Not Lore. Not Night Vale. The No Sleep Podcast. That's what it was. Anthology-style show collects the best of the stories submitted on the Reddit, the Reddit sub No Sleep. Rotating cast of voice actors. Lore is good, Night Vale is good. But I, I essentially just wanted glorified creepypasta and that is exactly what I got. They they run it together in one word. Obviously, podcast being on the end makes it the No Sleep Podcast. The way they've got it pulled together is three words, but I was just calling it No Sleep. Yeah, the way that they the way that they pulled it together was pretty nicely done, and we we listened to quite a few of them. It uh, genuinely until until Rory tapped out because it was dark outside the car, and I was like, yeah, I don't want to take you to your grandparents and and cousins' birthday party in the Outer Banks, too terrified to sleep. But it was around Halloween time, so I was in the mood. Life after an MLM, that'd be interesting too. Look up the windows inside Clementine Mountain from No Sleep. Favorite episode, bar none. I can't recommend it enough. I'm gonna type that shit into a... Like the, fir the first episode is a pretty good one about... about an academic getting lost at an old college. Season 12, episode 24. Um, yeah, the very first episode is about an academic getting lost in the bowels of a college and accidentally opening an otherworldly gate and barely, ba basically getting mauled by a paranormal entity and barely crawling back outside the building before being rescued by the cops who basically ask him if he has any idea what that feral animal was that shot past them in the dark. Yeah, no, that, the next time that I want something creepy, that's 100% what I'm going to queue up. Yo, food is on the way. It'll be here in about 15 minutes. But anyway, like, it wasn't perfect. I was looking for, like, real ghost stories. I love the idea of having, like, stories accounted to me by an impartial third party. Going like, oh, well, Sarah Jean really did believe that the ghost of her kitty was haunting and living inside of her kitchen's bread box or whatever the fuck. 
Bam! Man, sometimes I just dodge real bad. And it makes me sad. The Ouija board one's been uh, around long before it was made into a board game. They just capitalized on making money off of it. Oh, the oh, sorry. The Ouija board's been around long before it was made into a board game. They just capitalized off of making money. Yeah, I mean, like, there was a part of me that, like, realistically, realistically was like, how scared can I be of something that's made by fucking Parker Brothers or whatever? Hasbro. Well, that trip out to the cemetery that night was scary as fuck. I loved it. Man, I was not even looking at the... If I'm being real with you, I was not even looking at the harpy. I was looking at the... Uh... Wolfman. I can't help but feel like death is going to truck us. I don't want that to be the case. I'm going to try to win. But man, I can't help but feel like death is going to have my fucking number. That's the wrong way. If I'm being honest with you, Jade Stone, I think Mr. Creepypasta used to be a viewer here. If I went and dug through my old messages, I had some creepypasta YouTuber who like eight or nine years ago was blowing up on YouTube and was hitting me up in like the comments of Slack, or sorry, of Skype, asking if I wanted help trying to promote the channel. back in like 2013. I, there probably are 30 or 40 men and women out there who have like some form of blah, 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 creepypasta as a part of their brand name. But there was somebody who like, at the time that they got a hold of me, they were like, hey, I'm a big fan of the channel. I like what you do. I love Isaac and I love watching you play it. I'm, I just hit 150,000 subs on YouTube reading creepypastas. And I was just wondering if you wanted me to, to coach you at all on how to grow your channels out. And I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll take anything you'll give me. And we had a little back and forth, but it didn't, it didn't really feel like a lot of it was gonna uh, translate. But I, I was grateful for the, I was grateful for the look in. Um, I don't know if it was that person with creepy poster in their name or if it was a different one, but it very well could have been that person. D Tune does not fuck around with Ouija boards because his mom would kick his ass. It's a fucking board game, is how I see it. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, that's not how it's intended or marketed or whatever, but like, as a skeptic, I'm just like, it's a piece of cardboard made by the same company that makes fucking Monopoly with a piece of plastic, like a plastic slider on top of it. That said, it's, you know, it's it's played a role in carving out some pretty fun, ooh, stories in my life. So I've, I'm surprised I don't own one. But when, like, when would I even fuck around with it these days? Remember Chill, like Chill Chaos? It's a very scary voice. Ooh. That's a 
Grubhub let me know my food is just around the corner. I'm not really sure what what to do here. Maybe I just take the extra health. What did I order? Drunken noodle and shumai. I love this little interactive map. When I haven't looked at it for a while, when I tab out, I tab back in and it just makes up the difference. And by making up the difference, it just makes it look like the car is f flying. <laughs> it just makes it look like the car is flying over hospitals, over malls, over parks. Right now, this mall, right now, this car is flying over my neighbor's houses. Boy, he is right down the fucking road. It took him a weird way. He's coming at me in sort of a question mark shape. And he's just down the road, though. Anyway, oh, sorry. I'm thinking about everything except for the game. I'm gonna try Spike. I can't help but think that Death's about to just dumpster me. I do have a lot of health refills. Death is one of the few critters where I could, I, I predict that I might even be able to, to heal. We'll do this fight, and then I'll go get my food. <laughs> I tried to move. Meh. <laughs> Oh, god damn right. Okay. I hate that. Ugh. I tried. I tried to parry. Oh, no. Shit, I lost myself. I tried. God, he's got shit all over the screen. I did say the problem with the war spear was going in there and not having any way to crit. No shit, Archer. The Arby's BIOS doesn't even have the cordon bleu sandwich. They don't, apparently don't even have uh, sliced ham. Crazy. 